perfect square numbers have certain criteria. Let us know what it takes for a non-perfect square number to be a perfect square. Let's solve the type 3 questions. The questions related to perfect squares. The least number by which 1470 must be divided to get a number which is a perfect square. To solve this, let's divide 1470 into factors. So 1470 can be written as 7 into 7 into 5 into 6. So 7 square into 5 into 6. So in order to make 1470 into a perfect square, it should be divided by 5 and 6. That is 5 into 6 which is equal to 30. So the least number by which 1470 must be divided is 30. When 5 into 6, that is 30 is removed, 7 square turns into a perfect square. So 5 into 6 is the least number which can be divided to 1470 in order to make it a perfect square. Another question of this type is, find the smallest number by which 5808 should be multiplied so that the product becomes a perfect square. In the previous question, we had found out the least number to be divided. And in this case, we are finding out the smallest number to be multiplied. So let's take factors of 5808. So 5808 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 11 into 11. This can be written as 2 square into 2 square into 11 square into 3. Each number has a pair, isn't it? The only number which doesn't have a pair is 3. So the smallest number multiplied to 5808 is 3 in order to make it a perfect square. That is the answer. We are done with the perfect square category.